for sale is a circa late 70s, 76 to 78, KA7300, which has about 65 watts per channel. It has a Darlington output stage, much like the KA8300 or the KA9100. It has a great preamp in it, in regards to integrated amps. It's got a great preamp. Um, they're kind of rare. There's not a lot of them out there. And this one happens to be in very good condition. Uh, it's got a lot of little bells and whistles in regards to the tone. It's got uh, center frequency controls for the bass or treble. Um, so, you know, the bass control turnover is set at 400 hertz. Then the control is going to adjust boost or cut. The frequency is around 400 hertz at the most. Um, it's a very good sounding amp, a very warm amp. I just had the power switch fixed on it. And my service guy went over it and everything seems to be, seems to be working well. So I'll give it a listen. Like I said, you got your turnover switches over here. We've got frequencies for the bass and treble controls up here. A, B, and C, you can hook up a set of remote speakers on top of having four speakers in the main room. Set up a set of C's, which you can switch independently. A, B, A, B, or C. Phase controls. And uh, you've got a center balance. Your volume control. you got subsonic filters for turntable rumble. You can go reverse, stereo, or mono. Input uh, selector for auxiliary, tuner, phono 1 and 2. And your tape deck monitor switches down here for dubbing. There's the attenuator switch. That's uh, basically just a, some resistors that reduce the strength of the signal. Okay, and on the back side, you get the hookups for your tape deck, your turntables, phono one, phono two, two tape decks, pre in or pre out, I should say, power in. You can hook up a preamp to it. I guess the tuner's down below there. And uh, like I said, A, B, and C speaker hookups, as well as two switched and one unswitched plug for other components. All right, so that's the Kenwood KA7300. Thanks for looking.